Now in week one of Makers, you're gonna practice Ruby, the command line, and lots of other various sign tax, but they do make this clear. That's not the most important part. And this will cross all of their documentation and they tell you this. But you're gonna to start to ask yourself, you go, when, when all of a sudden it starts to get difficult, you're gonna go, oh, why aren't they just telling me what to do? Why are they not instructing me directly? And Ruby, like, why are they not building in React? What, like, that's all I hear about, JavaScript, React, what's the deal? Why are they focusing on a less used language? Remember, the overarching principles, well, they're gonna grow much slower than the sign taxes. So focus on the thing that is, is gonna stay the same forever. And we need to learn how to adapt to the things that change. I'll give you an example. I've been trying to pick this stuff for years uh, and I started with React. I'd leave it a year and then and then I come back and I'm like, what, what are these React hooks? What's the deal there? And I start looking more at it and it's like, that's the only way people do things now. Even this morning, I, I, I was watching this YouTuber, Coda Coda, and it was about SAS, the CSS syntax. Now, I learned that a long time ago, and I'm just reading now that they're gonna actually deprecate the only thing I know how to do to import styles. So the, all the information I've got will be gone. But at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. That's not what they're doing. So then you ask yourself, why is Makers one of the few courses that's decided to just stick with learning Ruby? JavaScript is far more like popular out there. But remember, it's like we're learning the importance of logic, over language. And also what they're giving to you here is you're gonna get first-hand experience of how to build in any language. So I think that's a really important point for why they do the things they do. Now, as I'm going here, I wanna say, if you identify as that type of type A person, a perfectionist, and all of this is seeming a bit too much to accept, do make sure you check out my video on uh, being a recovering perfectionist. I'm really trying to get across that idea that we wanna be able to turn that pain into a positive.